here at the AS show on the Sound Radix booth where Nira is going to show us um, Surfer EQ2, which is a rather special kind of EQ. In fact, I think it, we could right. say it's unique. Uh, yeah, you can say that. <laughs> yeah. So what's, what's the idea behind it? Uh, so the basic idea is um, uh, an EQ that actually tracks the pitch and adapts the frequency band according to the actual musical content instead of just being a fixed uh, frequency. And this is useful for actually c controlling the balance of the harmonics of the instrument in a natural way. Uh, with regular cues, if you boost a, f a fixed frequency, every time an instrument is going to hit that frequency, it's going to get louder than, than the rest of the instrument um, and, change, and change the natural balance of the harmonics. With surf EQ, you can just boost the fundamental or the octave and it's always going to be relative to what, what's going on. Okay, so, sound more so if you get the EQ set dead right for one note, then it's going to sound equally good on all the other notes, is the idea? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. What happens if you hit it with a polyphonic sound? Presumably it can't do much with that. Well, we, you can actually drive it with a sidechain input uh, okay. of the fundamentals of your song and you can use a polyphonic instrument as well. You just have a track and, and program your, your fundamentals and you're good to go. Okay. So if you'd like to give us a quick demonstration of, uh, of maybe how the controls work and interact. Yeah. So here I just have a, a, a simple bass track. And I'm just going to show how a normal static cue is going to work. And uh, you can see on the screen how every time the bass plays a different note, it's going to augment a different frequency or a different harmonic, actually. So. so if you just be looking on the analyzer, you see how the frequency content in the harmonic shifts with every note, right? And here I have just a fixed frequency. Okay, so sometimes it's boosting the fundamental, sometimes the octave. It's not it's not very consistent. Now I'm gonna switch to a, a, a previous settings where I have where I have synced to the fundamental, and you can hear how it's now consistent. The tonality is consistent with whatever note is being played. You get that solid low end. It's not changing with the different notes. And you can see how the, how the, it shifts with with the instrument. Now, from here on, you know, because uh, the, the, the harmonics are actually multiplications of of the fundamental, we can ex extend this to other areas of of, uh, of the instrument. For example, if I want to get more of the hunkiness, I can just uh, dial in that that harmonic and get more of that. Okay, so it's always relevant. If if it, if it wasn't surfing, then it, it's it's different for every note. Now, in, in the new version, we've also added um, a, a spectral gate, so we, we can use it only from a certain, certain for instance, level. So, for example. So now the bands only work when the signal uh, crosses the threshold. Right, and I can use a low pass filter to reverse polarity. So it's, it's closing when the bass is not playing actually. So this way I'm optimizing my, my response. So I can, I can cut off all kinds of noise and stuff that I don't need. When the, when the bass is not playing. You can also use a MIDI to control it. Uh, you can actually play Surfer EQ and use it even as a gate. We have, we have three different uh, MIDI modes. Uh, the first one, you can just um, change the detection. And whenever you're gonna hit the, the MIDI, it's gonna use that instead of the internal detection. Uh, surf by note is, is just MIDI. And it's gonna engage the bands whenever there is a, a note on. And the instrument mode is actually going to gate the input, so that you can play, play it like an instrument, and um, so how do does play the stuff. MIDI control work in Logic, which is notorious for uh, being awkward with the direct right. MIDI input? So um, in Logic, Surf EQ can work as a as an instrument, as an as an effect instrument. Uh, you set a, you open a, a new instrument track, and then uh, you select Surf EQ and and uh, insert the, your audio track through a sidechain input, and and it works. That's it. 
I look forward to trying it. It looks like a, an intriguing thing that's got a lot more potential. The more you think about it, the more it can do. Right. Um, so what's it going to cost and when is it going to be finalized in shipping? It's shipping already. It's, it's, shipping it's already. out. Um, it's normally 199 and until tomorrow it, it's, until it's 129 Okay. Um, upgrades are $49 and until tomorrow it's $29 for existing users. Well, excellent. Thanks very yeah. much. Pleasure. Thank you.